Hi, my name is Lloyd Chapman. I'm president and founder of the American Small Business League, and I'm going to talk about my latest Huffington Post blog today titled, Obama Administration Policies Could Be a Big Problem for Small Business. And I'm going to uh, tell you something interesting. I did the same type of thing during the Bush administration, quite frankly. And um, I found out recently something that uh, didn't surprise me, but I want to tell people, um, if you're a Republican or not, uh, I have a friend who's a very good friend of Hector Barreto, the former head of the Small Business Administration. And he told me that Hector told him that when President Bush appointed him to head the SBA, President Bush told Hector to close the SBA by the end of President Bush's first term. And the other day, I was talking to a couple of former SBA employees, and they told me, and they weren't really all that high level, quite frankly. They were sort of like mid-level. And they told me they were in a meeting where Hector Brittle announced the fact that, uh, that his job was to close the Small Business Administration. And if you go back and look at what President Bush did, where he cut the SBA budget you know, every year that he was president, um, cut the budget and staffing in half, try to cut back the programs, Oh, by the way, my, my, um, I've got another close friend whose college roommate was an attorney for the Bush administration. And uh, that gentleman told my friend that President Bush intended to starve the SB to death and end all programs for the little guy. So back during the Bush administration, I was sounding the alarm. Uh, I was right. And now I'm doing it about uh, Barack Obama. So let's look at Barack Obama here. Um, during the campaign, Barack Obama said it's time in the diversion of federal small business contracts to corporate giants. He did that um, in February of 2008. Well, last Friday, the Obama administration released their small business contracting statistics. Guess what? The largest recipient was Textron, a Fortune 500 firm with 83,000 employees and $25 billion in annual revenue. They got $775 million in, in small business contracts through their AAI division. Um, companies in uh, Korea, uh, a company in Korea got, I think, $254 million in small business contracts. A company in Italy with 73,000 employees got $283 million in small business contracts. Other firms the Obama administration considered small businesses were British Aerospace, Rolls-Royce, General Electric, Xerox, Office Depot, Staples, Dell Computer, AT&T, Hewlett Packard, 3M, General Dynamics, Booz Allen Hamilton, Northrop Grumman, L3 Communications, GTSI, Raytheon, Boeing, and Lockheed Martin. Are those small businesses to you? So he's gone back on his, on his promise. He lied, basically, and there's no two ways about it. Um, what he is doing is backing policies um, that will divert even more federal small business contracts to some of the wealthiest people in the country. President Obama's campaign was backed by the National Venture Capital Association. And... Um, they gave him millions and millions of dollars. And so he's backing uh, policy and legislation that will change the definition of a small business from being independently owned. That's in the Small Business Act from 1953. By the way, independently owned means not publicly traded or not owned by you know, another company. He's going to try to change that to where independently owned includes companies owned by some of the nation's wealthiest venture capitalists. This may sound crazy to you, but the House has actually passed uh, a piece of legislation that would allow Warren Buffett, Bill Gates, and Donald Trump to own a company simultaneously and have it still be a small business. Unbelievable. Um, so I think that Obama's going to sign legislation or policy by the end of 2009 to try to do that. And of course, I'm going to be you know, doing everything I can to stop that. So he's not going to stop Fortune 500 firms from getting small business contracts, and he's going to sign legislation and policy to divert even more money away from small businesses. By the way, let me remind you that in 2005, the SBA Inspector General referred to the diversion of federal small business contracts to corporate giants as one of the largest challenges facing the Small Business Administration and the entire federal government today. Based on all of our research, we, we think it's about a million dollars a minute, by the way, uh, that's about $110 uh, uh, billion a year that's being pulled from the middle class economy uh, by President Obama. Does that sound like a pro small business guy to you? Um, by the way, he also broke every other promise he made to small businesses uh, during the campaign. He said he restored the SBA budget. 
He didn't do that. The SBA budget today is less than what it was when Ronald Reagan was president. He said he would restore the head of the SBA to a cabinet level position. He didn't do that either. He said he would implement the 5% woman owned business, uh, uh, 5% set aside goal. He didn't do that either. So there's four major promises he broke. I don't know what you have to do if you're a, an Obama supporter. What does he have to do before you'll say to yourself, this guy's a liar? Well, you know, he is a liar. And there's no two ways about it. You can't say, well, he hasn't had time. No. Um, let's look at, by the way, uh, the stimulus funds. So small businesses, there's 26 million small businesses in America. 90% of all U.S. firms have less than 20 employees. Small businesses are responsible for creating 97% of all net new jobs, over 50% of the gross domestic product, and they employ around 55% of the private sector workforce. Small businesses are, in fact, the backbone of this nation's economy. There's no question about that. So how much money has President Obama given small businesses? How about 1%? 1%. That means 99% of the stimulus funds have gone to 2% of American firms and 1% has gone to 99%. Does that make sense to you? Or excuse me, 98%. And of course, the 98% that are small businesses create 97% um, of net new jobs. Does that sound like the way to stimulate the economy? I don't think so. So why would he do that? Why would he do that? Again, 98% of all U.S. firms have less than 100 employees. 90% of less than 20 employees and only 2% and, uh, are large businesses. And they're getting all the money. The last thing I'm concerned that he's going to do is I, I would not be surprised if President Obama tried to combine the Commerce Department with the SBA after he adopts these policies to direct federal small business contracts to his venture capitalist buddies. Remember, he, appoint, he appointed Karen Mills, a super wealthy venture capitalist, to head the SBA. And uh, so my concern is he might try to try to um, sort of lock the SBA down after he gets the policies he wants by combining it with the Commerce Department. It's an old trip, a trick in Washington, and then they, they sort of what's called zero out the budget. So I'm, I'm going to be uh, looking out for that. So again, look at the facts. And for you Republicans out there, George Bush was no friend of small business. He tried to close the agency. He, he just almost did. And now President Obama is allowing a lot of those abuses of the Bush administration, the diversion of federal small business contracts to large businesses to continue. And he's going to try to create another loophole to allow his venture capitalist buddies to hijack more small business contracts while middle class America is, is you know, uh, going through the worst economic downturn in 80 years. So I hope that you'll help me do something about this. My name is Lloyd Chapman, President and Founder of the American Small Business League. Thank you.